Hey guys, Anthony here with a review on Firefox 95, which was released on December 7th and is the 11th and last major browser update in 2021. There were a few changes implemented in this new browser update, and I'll cover some of the key changes. First up, Mozilla has introduced RL Box sandboxing technology, which is designed to isolate subcomponents to make the browser more secure. This technique uses WebAssembly to isolate potentially buggy code and isolates these five modules as listed down here. You can check this detailed blog post by Bobby to learn more. You'll find the link in the description section. Secondly, site isolation, which is a security feature in Firefox that protects users against side channel attacks like Spectre. This was being rolled out to users starting in Firefox 94 and it is now enabled for all Firefox users. You can read more about it in this in-depth article by Annie. To better understand how site isolation works, you'll find the link in the description section. Thirdly, an improvement to the picture-in-picture -picture mode. You can now move the picture-in-picture -picture toggle button to the opposite side of the video by right-clicking on the button and choosing Move PIP Toggle to left side like so. And finally, in the Microsoft Store, you can now download Firefox on Windows 10 and 11 OS. So that's pretty much it in terms of notable changes in Firefox 95. You can check the list of detailed changes in the release notes. You'll find the link in the description section. In terms of the Browsemark benchmark test results, the overall performance of Firefox improved slightly compared to the earlier version but Google Chrome continues to outperform. I would like to take this opportunity to wish you all a Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays. Until next time, thanks for watching.